Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today I want to talk about the hustle is sold separately. So many times we have these dreams and we have these goals and we have all these things that we want to accomplish, but when it comes down to actually doing the work, are we doing it? Really and truly, are we doing the work? Um, how many ideas have you had? How many, you know, times have you had different goals? How many times have you wanted to do this or wanted to do that or any of it? But then you gave up shortly thereafter. That's what I come to challenge today because I really want you to evaluate, like, am I willing to put in the work that it requires? Am I willing to make the sacrifices that are necessary in order to get the things that I want? So recently I was listening to um, a YouTube video from one of my favorite motivational speakers, Lisa Nichols, and she said, and I'm paraphrasing, but she said basically that the diff everyone can be mediocre because the elevator goes to that level. However, if you want to be excellent or extraordinary, you have to take the stairs. And it's really that simple. There is no cheat sheet. There is no overnight success. Any overnight celebrity that you've ever seen, I promise you, it took years of work before they, you just realized who they were. But they've been working hard for that moment for a long time prior to actually realizing that moment. And it's unfortunate because it makes it seem like you can be an overnight success when really and truly... That's not likely, and if it does happen, um, you're less likely to sustain it, and you're less likely to keep it because you just don't have the stamina to be able to support that. So think about the difference between people who have a lot of money because they worked their way up the chain, they invested, they saved, they worked hard, and then people who have a lot of money because they won the lottery. People who win the lottery are more likely to be in greater debt than when they originally, than before when they, before they won the lotto. The reason being is you don't know how to handle that type of financial success. The same holds true with business. The same holds true with fitness success. The same holds true with relationship success. The same holds true with any kind of success. You have to earn it in order to be prepared to sustain it. And it's really that simple. So for me, I sometimes hustle too hard. Like I have to tell myself, okay, sit down, relax. But at the end of the day, I know that I want to be ready to take any opportunity that comes. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Imagine getting the opportunity of a lifetime and not being ready for it. I don't even want to know what that feels like. I don't want any opportunity to come and me not being able to say, absolutely, I'm ready. Period. Do the work, do the research, study your craft, whatever your craft is. Take the time to study it and get to know it and perfect it so that when that opportunity comes, you're able to set yourself apart from anyone else and operate in your lane. Part of preparing for success is knowing what your lane is. Part of that is knowing that this is what I'm put on this earth for. This is what I'm supposed to be doing in life. So one of the ways that I know what I'm supposed to be doing is the fact that opportunities literally come knock on my door. Granted, I still have I still have to hustle for the opportunity, but I don't have to hustle to get it, if that makes any sense. So the opportunities come to me, and I'm able to say yes. But I say yes, willing and able to put in the work that it requires to be ready for that opportunity. I'm ready and willing and able to put in the work that's necessary to be able to say, you know what? I'm qualified. I'm ready. I've perfected 
my craft. Now, granted, that's a lifelong journey, but are you making active steps towards preparing for the, the things that you said you wanted? Seriously. Seriously. And I'm a woman of faith, hands down. But I can't go pray to God and ask him for this or ask him for that or ask him for this and then I'll be ready for it. How'd it look? How? It makes no sense at all. And to give it in a more, um, I don't know, tangible experience, for those of you who have children, if your child said, Ma, can I go to the movies? And you're like, yeah, sure. Your homework's done, right? No. You're like, what did you, why would you even ask me? For what? But we do the same thing to God. God, um, bless my finances. Did you handle the money I gave you? No. Did you tithe? No. Did you budget? No. So why would I give you more money? Like, it really is that simple. But a lot of times we don't think about it in those terms. <sighs> do the work, guys. Do the work. It's that simple.